So we're here with Matt Crilly, the student president at the University of Strathclyde. Uh, they've recently just won their campaign for decarbonisation. Can you talk us through a little bit what your strategy is going forward now? Yeah, so I think I think it's a, a kind of overwhelming result actually at Strathclyde. So uh, what we saw was 95% of students at the university supported the university decarbonising, um, which is a massive a massive deal actually. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't expect 95% of students to, to agree with that. Um, but that was a that was a plan to decarbonise by 2025. Those carbon emissions are right right over Glasgow city centre. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the pipes for it sit above the student union, um, which many people will know on 90 John Street. You know, just off George Square, they're being pumped out across the city centre. So um, there is an onus on Strathclyde to decarbonise, um, both for the university, but also for the city's sake, actually, to sort of have Glasgow as a green city. Do you think an independent Scotland could be a, a catalyst for that? Could be a vehicle for that wider decarbonisation? Well, I, th I think so. You know, the, the independence movement of 2014 was was a was a progressive one. Was was driven by the you know the desire to build a better, healthier, more socially just society. Um, so definitely, we need to we need to um, you know push forward with that. You know, there are always going to be debates around things like oil and the Scottish independence argument. But you know, clearly. Those debates are coming to an end. I think. I think. I think. You know. Generally, we have an understanding that we need to decarbonise now, and we can't just keep extracting oil. And um, we need to really reform our transport infrastructure. Um, we need to reform the society as a whole. We need massive government investment in, um, uh, you know, uh, making our homes more energy efficient, making the buildings more en energy efficient. So, um, yeah, I think. I think an independent Scotland um, would be more progressive on this issue, or at least I'd, I'd like to hope it would be. Excellent. Matt, thank you very much. Cheers.